In our last video, we understood what are the explained and what are the unexplained variants. Now, using that explained, unexplained variants and the total variants, we are going to go to find a scale. Using this, we can just assume that if our model is good or not. We are going to do it by something called R square, which would be our coefficient of determination. So, a good fit would have SSE which should be very low which is the squared error which should be low or SSR which is explained variance it should be very high and we know that SST is equal to SSE plus SSR so if we do SSE divided by SST which would be the percentage or ratio of unexplained variance it should be very low we want it to be very low but SSR divided by SST which is the ratio of explained variance which we want to be high so the coefficient of determination is the portion of total variance in the dependent variable that is explained by variance in the independent variable this is a complicated line but all we need to know is we want the SSR divided by SST value to be very high so as this is a ratio it the value should stand between 0 to 1 and we can convert it into a percentage value also so if the value of s r square which are we are going to call it the coefficient of determination which would be equal to ssr divided by sst if that value is near to one we are going to say our model is very good or our regression line fit is very good so this r squared which is called r squared or denoted as r power square is going to be the measure for our fit next thing would be a lab for it we have already built two models and we are going to just test and see where we can find the r square value of those models so initially we build a model fitted one we did also the summary also so this is our model one which is between passenger and promotion budget and if i want to see the r square value i can just use the summary function and using the summary i would be able to see okay let me zoom in so using the summary function i would be able to see around here on the top of it and this is my r squared value 0.93 which is a quite good value and our second model was between number of passenger and intermetro flight ratio i have asked you to do this lab by yourself but i will do it now for this example i will execute this whole bunch of code and to find the summary i will do fitted to dot summary this will allow me to find the r squared value between passenger and intermetro flight ratio which is very low 0.24 so r squared value is showing us that value is very low but can we justify it yes we can we will plot scatter plot and the line this will allow us to see how bad or how good our fit was we can see that there is no relation between intermetro flight ratio and passengers and the regression line that we tried fitting would also be very bad because we don't have any relation here we built two different model we compared the r square value and we validated if the r squared value has to be good or not 